Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and you are learning Vue.js beginners course and you have already seen some of the basics and beginners videos of Vue.js. Now this is the seventh video of this series and I am going to show you about components in Vue.js. So what is a component? Components are reusable Vue instances with a name that can be used as a HTML tag. We can also define props in components that can be used as attributes of the components. Like view instance, component can also accept the same option such as data, computed, method, uh, properties, etc. So let's start coding and see how components works in Vue.js. So this is our index.html file with basic setup for Vue.js and this is the main.js file. So we can create a view component either locally or globally. Okay so let's first create a global component so for creating component we can use this view object and just write component component and here you have to write the name of the component okay so here just write the name of the component and now every component contains a template part okay now what this template contains template contains whatever you want to display in your DOM okay so just write template and here you, we can use uh, HTML tags like uh, h1 and here you can write any message like uh, hello I am a component I am a component okay or any message you want to display just save this and then how to use this component just copy the name of the component and inside uh, and just go to the index.html and this is the root element div now inside this we can just write the name of the component uh, as a html tag here you can see like this okay like uh, just uh, open the tag and close the tag like other HTML uh, tag okay now save this and go to the browser refresh so here you can see the message now if you inspect the element here so here you can see only h1 tag containing message is showing here not this creating tag is showing here okay so this way you can create a component in Vue.js so let's see you can also reuse this uh, component like just copy the same thing and the same message will uh, so again so let's create another component so i am creating another component view component and uh, button counter so as i have said you can use any options like data property computed property methods property inside a components but uh, but for using data property you have to use use data property as a function okay so write data and you can just uh, use parenthesis here and uh, every data property have to return a value so just write return and now whatever the uh, whatever value or whatever variable you want to define you can just define here so i'm just defining count zero now here i am using template now just create a button sorry button and you clicked me here just pass the count times okay now here you can also use view directive b dash on click and 
con plus plus okay so now just use this component in our dome so just copy the same thing paste here close the tag with the same component name and go to the browser now here you can see uh, a button with the message you have clicked me zero times now whenever you just click this button then here the counter starts now you can see you clicked me two times three times four times five six and so on so this is a single component and this is a single component okay you can reuse this component by writing the same thing so just copy the same thing and here you can see the three buttons are showing every uh, buttons have their own data like when you are clicking this button only then the counters e counter is changing for this button only not these buttons okay so why this is happening because we have defined data property like a function so every uh, data property treats a single uh, single object for a single component okay now if you have just used like this then see what happened here just so this is we have already used in view instance so let's see what happens now if i refresh here so you can't see the so here you have you can see uh, the error could not define so you can you can't use data property like this in component so we have to use like this okay now just refresh so now this is working okay now let's create one more component like uh, view dot view dot component and uh, here i am just writing change message okay now inside this uh, i am just defining data property as a function and i am returning some data mm, like message message and you can write any message here like component message now we can define methods also so for methods you can write same as uh, we have we write in view instance okay so just write methods and here change text i am creating a method change text and uh, now we can use this keyword and now i am writing this message variable and here uh, another message okay now these all uh, these these properties are defined in this component okay and this view instance is differently showing here you can see i am not uh, working on any uh, view instance i am working on a component now let's create the template template now here i am just going to create a div first and inside the, this div i am just going to create a h1 tag and showing the message now i am going to create a button button and you can write chan change text and change text and here we can use a v directive 
click and call this method here so just copy the name of the method and pass here okay now we can use this just copy go to the index.html here sorry just delete this refresh so here you can see the initial message that we have defined here component message now when we click on this change text button then let's see what happened so you can see the another message is showing when we clicked on this button okay now here you can see this is working with a component through a component okay so every component can contains methods data properties computed properties okay so now let's create a component with the props okay so let's go here and view dot component and here just write the name of the component like username and here just define props and inside this uh, big bracket you have to define the props so here i am using one prop name and just use template h1 sorry h1 here and you can just write hello and just call the name props here so i am just to writing the name of the props here name okay now how to use this uh, component in dome so let's copy this now this is the tag that we can use as here and let's see is anything so it's only displaying hello okay now we have created a props name so how to use this props so we can use this props as html attribute inside this tag okay so here just write name and you can write any name here like uh, sahil now let's refresh so here you can see hello sahil is showing now if you just copy the same thing and write change the message like harry ron then you can see all the components uh, works diff differently with their own message okay so by this way you can use props in components so these are all the global components you can also create a local component inside the view instance so how to create a local component so here like just write components and components and here you have to write the name of the components like uh, here i'm writing sorry local components so here i'm writing local com and uh, you just have to use this way and here just writing h1 local components local component okay now you can use same like as we have did previously so here just go to the browser so here you can see the local component is showing here so this is all about components in Vue.js so thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel